Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the optimal choice of a consumer. This is from the chapter number 2 uh, that is theory of consumer behavior and this is one of the important question as well. So now let us understand about how we can determine the optimal choice of a consumer. So first of all the indifference curve depicts the priority of a customer. For example, in your budget according to your budget what you will prefer a semi, semi loaded uh, washing machine or a fully automated washing machine in the same price. So the consumer will always demand for the maximum satisfaction. So indifference curve depicts the priority of a consumer and budget line shows the ability to pay only desiring or priority is not if enough so the budget line shows the ability to pay even the consumer should have the ability to pay for it so choice and priority can be achieved only when there is affordability so we cannot say ki hame mercedes hi hamari priority hai okay ya rolls royce is my priority why because priority should be based on the, the affordability also तो मैं वही चीज की ख्वाहिश करना चाहूंगी वही चीज मेरी प्रायोरिटी होगी जिसे मैं पे भी कर सकूं आई शुड हैव द एबिलिटी टू पे फॉर इट सो चॉइस एंड प्रायोरिटी कैन बी अचीव्ड ओनली व्हेन देयर इज affordability so in order to achieve consumer equilibrium with maximum utility the indifference curve to be combined with budget line to determine the choice of consumer so how we will reach to the optimal choice of a consumer is by combining the indifference curve and budget line so before determining the optimal choice let's understand what is indifference curve and budget line so that by combining this will will be easily able to determine the optimal choice of a consumer so so indifference curve is uh, it's like a family of indifferent curves so you can see this is the bundle of uh, this is the bundles bundles of um, combination of goods which a consumer is purchasing so higher the indifference curve higher is the level of the satisfaction so a, a rational consumer will always prefer for the maximum satisfaction in what amount in what quantity uh, and uh, in what combination he will reach to the maximum level of satisfaction the consumer will always prefer for it so you can see here ox is the bananas and oy is the mangoes and these are the ic1 ic2 ic3 and ic4 are the way various in different curves so higher the indifference curve higher depicts the higher level of satisfaction so this is going to give the highest level of satisfaction than this so this will be higher than this so this is the indifference curve which shows which depicts the higher level of satisfaction of the consumer so this is the indifference curve now let's understand what is budget line so budget line कैन यू सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपका जो है हम फॉर वेन एवर वी गो टू परचेज एनी ड्रेसेज और वेन एनी ग्रॉसरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी हैव अ बजट लाइन कि वी नीड टू बाई इट इन टू हंड्रेड नॉट मोर देन टू हंड्रेड लाइक दैट एवरी कंज्यूमर इज़ वेरी रैशनल एंड ही हैज़ टू ही वॉन्ट्स टू हैव मैक्सिमम सेटिसफैक्शन विद द गिवन कॉस्ट सो दैट एंड ही शुड बी अफोर्डेबल टू पे फॉर इट एंड ऑल्सो ही शुड हैव टू यूटिलाइज इट इन एन मैक्सिमम मैनर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर यू हैविंग अ बजट लाइन दैट इज़ टू हंड्रेड rupee in that you are going to purchase mangoes and bananas so the combination is based on your affordability to pay for it and in this the consumer will always try to have the maximum level of satisfaction so if there is any changes in any quantity of one thing any one combination surely there will be changes in the another so this that is why x1 keep it like for a let it be banana if is there is any change in banana surely there will be change in the quantities of the mangoes as well that is why x1 plus change in x1 x2 plus change in x2 so this is x1 and x2 that means mangoes and banana and changes in mangoes and banana so this is your budget line for example 200 is your budget in the, in that it is your combination to buy 150 banana and 50 of mango or 200 of uh, uh, i mean to say in that 100 of banana or 100 of mango so the combination is based on your need in that where you can reach to the maximum level of satisfaction the combination is your but the budget line is limited it means it is equal to your income okay you can purchase less 
less to your income but not more than your income but your cost should not be more than your income the budget line uh, whatever you purchase the combination of uh, goods can be uh, less than your income but not greater than the income for example you can see uh, 150 of mango plus 50 of banana it should be to your income that is budget line so that is why x1 plus change in x1 x2 plus change in x2 is equal to income so this is the budget line okay for example p1 that is the price of banana and uh, quantity what quantity you want to purchase plus any change in the quantity plus p2 price of mango quantity in what quantity you want to buy plus any change in the quantity is equal to the income aap chahe so before going through with the optimal choice let's discuss the assumptions first so the assumptions of consumer equilibrium under indifference curve analysis is given first of all the income of the consumer is given so the consumer is rational and want to maximize his satisfaction his or her satisfaction so you can understand ki unki income already it is given and consumer wants to have the maximum of satisfaction with the what with what he is going to pay and what he is going to buy the combination of good in that he want to maximize his satisfaction and the prices of goods and services are constant it is not uh, fluctuating or changing and consumer is aware of indifference curve the consumer is aware of the indifference curve map that higher the indifference curve higher is the level of satisfaction so all goods are homogeneous and divisible so the same variety of product and it can be divisible so the consumer can purchase it according to his own combination whether he can buy more of the bananas and less of the mangoes or equally so it is of his choice so the consumer prefers more of one commodity or the other or both equally so whether the consumer will buy majority of the bananas or else majority of the mangoes or else half half both equal also he can purchase according to his own choice so these all are the assumptions now let's move on to the final determination of the optimal choice of a consumer optimal choice can be obtain, obtained by ic plus budget line so first of all let's understand ic it could be any of the combination like bananas mangoes any of the combination that depicts the indifference curve so higher the indifference curve higher the level of satisfaction and budget line is it's your budget line so if, for example if it is 200 you can buy 100 of banana and 100 of mango so this your budget line even you can buy 150 of banana and 50 of mango it's of your choice so this is ic this is bala budget line so now let's move on and understand the optimal choice of a consumer फॉर एग्जाम्पल आपका जो पॉकेट मनी है दैट इज़ रुपीज़ ट्वेंटी ओके सो योर पॉकेट मनी इज़ रुपी ट्वेंटी इन दैट सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट योर आई सी इज दैट यू आर बाइंग लाइक जेम्स एंड सम सम डेरी मिल्क सो इट इज़ कॉस्टिंग फॉर यू लाइक फाइव रुपीज जेम्स ओके दिस इज आई सी वन एंड कीप इट आई सी टू as uh, i see too that like you are purchasing some of your gems some uh, some like 2 to 3 rupee chocolates like that you are purchasing and the third is i see 3 and uh, and i see 4 so i see 4 it's like i see 4 keep it like dark fantasy which is costing rupees 35 and here you are going to have a budget line so you can see the budget line it's like this okay the budget line is this keep it like you are purchasing in this quantity we'll keep it a point this is a the this one is b this one is d 
and here where it is tangen tangential will keep it C. Now you can see B is not the optimal choice why because it is less than the budget line ok it is less than the budget line so B cannot be the optimal choice of a consumer and similarly C cannot be the optimal choice of a consumer why because C also lies in the same indifference curve. So, here why A, I see 2 and D also is not an optimal choice of a consumer why because you cannot afford it your income is 20 and your uh, though dark fantasy can give you highest level of max, maxima uh, satisfaction but still it costs 35 which is out of your budget here pe hai budget line and it is here here so it is out of the budget line so that is not optimal choice of a consumer so this is 10 rupee perk and 10 rupee gems so this could be your optimal choice of a consumer why because the indifference curve is tangential to the budget line it means that you can have maximum satisfaction in your budget line. So, here the consumer can attain equilibrium where he can be able to pay for it as well as he can be able to afford for it. So, that is why uh, so it is a rough explanation. So, now let us move on and understand uh, let us so this is IC1, IC2, IC3 and IC4. and I see 4. So, here it is your budget line. So, this is our budget line. So, where it is tangential there we will make a quantity M N. So, this could be of banana or else any good X and any good Y. Now, we will keep a point ok this is D, this is B, this is A and here this is C ok. A is the optimal choice of a consumer why because indifference curve and budget line is tangential here ok and why B is not an optimal choice because it is budget line se kam hai budget line se so, why the consumer will uh, uh, will prefer for the lesser satisfaction when he can afford for the maximum satisfaction in the given budget. So, that th this is not the optimal choice and even this is not the optimal choice because it lies in the same indifference curve 1. So, here indifference curve 2 that is that could be the optimal choice of a consumer why because it is tang tangential to uh, indifference curve plus budget line and D is not optimal choice of a consumer why because it is out of the budget the consumer cannot pay for it it is not affordable for him. So, that is why price of X is equal to maximum utility of X and price of Y is equal to maximum utility of Y. So, that is why it depicts the optimal choice of a consumer that price and along with that price it is giving the maximum utility and maximum satisfaction. So, that is all about um, the maximum sat, uh, optimal choice of a consumer. I hope you have uh, understood. Thank you very much for listening.